from Four Paws Dog Training in Surrey and Hampshire area. Um, it's a very exciting day today. This is Little Buttons, as I'm sure you know by now. And today is going to be her first day going down on the floor on a walk. Um, now, you might have seen that I have been having her in a little backpack dog carrier um, for the last couple of weeks um, so that she can still come out, get some fresh air, get to know um, the area, meet different dogs, hear different sounds, but without the danger of being on the floor when she wasn't fully vaccinated. But today it's now been the amount of time that it should be between vaccinations and going down on the floor. So we are going to try, oh dear, tired already. We're gonna try popping her down the floor to see how she gets on. Now I've got the other dogs with me today. So I've got, if you can see back there, that's Ruby, my little doggy. Then we've got Freddie coming up there. And we can just see Penny in the distance. Um, I am a dog walker, so I've got a couple of the other doggies with me today as well. They are both absolutely lovely and have met Buttons and absolutely adore her. So I know Freddie in particular will be very excited when she goes down on the floor. I have with me, um, so we've got Buttons here. She's got underneath her coat, because it is middle of January, it's very cold and she's still um, a very tiny little, uh, little girl. Um, she's got a harness on underneath her jacket and she's got her lead clipped to her harness, but she's also got her collar on with her ID tag, as you can see there. And that has um, my surname and it's also got the, our postcode and mobile telephone numbers so that if anything were to happen when she's out and about, um, they can contact myself and my husband if need be. She is also microchipped um, and the details registered to myself and my address, um, which is a legal requirement now. So all dogs must be microchipped um, with up-to-date correct details. So in a moment, we're just gonna let the others have a nice little stroll. And then when we're ready, we're gonna pop her on the floor for the very first time and let her have a little mooch around. I have brought with me as well, you can see it down there. That's a, um, a long line in my pocket so that she can have a little bit more freedom. So we'll clip on the long line as well when we're ready. Now puppies are only allowed to have five minutes of exercise for every month of age. Now she's now three months old. So she's gonna be having 15 minutes this morning and then um, she should be able to have another 15, 10 to 15 minutes this afternoon. But we don't want to go and exceed that because um, it can be detrimental to their developing and growing bones and joints. Um, so we'll be very, very careful not to overdo it with her today. Here they come. So I shall shut the camera off, um, let the others have a nice little run around. And then in a little while, I'll get the camera back out and show you her very first time on the floor. So I think we're all set. I've got a pop, uh, pocket full of treats and I have just clipped on her long line um, red lead. So she's all ready to go on the floor. Um, once again, I stress she is now fully vaccinated and we've waited the amount of time that we should between the second or, or the last vaccination um, and when she is safe to go on the floor. She is raring to go. Um, every vaccination um, has their own rules on how long you should wait. Um, so some are wait a week, some are wait two weeks. Uh, some vaccination courses are two injections long, some are three. Some could be even different to that. So please make sure you speak to your veterinary surgery, find out how many vaccinations they should be having and how long you're supposed to wait between each vaccination and between their final vaccination and when they are safe to go on the floor. And follow those so that uh, you keep your dog, your puppy as safe as possible. Buttons is nice and safe and ready to go down. So I shall start the camera again, just facing the other way so you can see. Go. Okay. Here we go, number one. There we are. Oh, what do you think? Is that your new girlfriend, Freddie? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Sniff button. Oh, hello, Smithy. <laughs> oh, do you like her too? So I've met one of my uh, clients out on the walk, and that's her little dog, Smithy, that's come to join us. Oh, good girl, go toilet. Well done. First we on a walk. Good puppy. Well done. Good girl! I would normally treat her, but I don't want to interrupt her interacting with the others and having a good sniff. Buttons! Come! Good girl! Good 
Yeah, where are you? Let's have the right dog get in the treat. Good girl, well done. Buttons, come! Good girl! You can have one too, yes, there you go. Good girl. So it's the end of our walk now. Buttons was on the floor for a total of 15 minutes and she did so, so well, as I hope you can see in the video. Um, we have made sure it's important that we did lots of recall um, throughout her walk. So um, although she was on the lead today, just so that she could build up her confidence on the walk, but also with the other dogs around her, I didn't want to let her off lead on her first walk. Hopefully in the next, maybe in the next week, um, I'll probably drop the line on the floor um, and see how she gets on and if she's still recalling and is still very confident then hopefully uh, next week we should be able to have her off lead on her walks um, but I don't want to let her off until she's ready and make sure she's still coming back. Um, from day one of her uh, first walk so today and every walk we do hereafter um, Buttons will be doing recall training so um, every time she hears Buttons come yeah! she's gonna get a reward um, with praise, uh, lots of cuddles, lots of vocal praise, eye contact, a little play, and also, of course, some food to keep her interested. So lots of recall training to be done. And we'll also start doing her lead work um, soon as well. I'll probably start it in the house and then move on to walks. So she is nice and tired, and she's hopefully gonna go back in the car and have a nice sleep while I drop these doggies home. Um, and then probably have some lunch when we get back and then she'll probably conk out for another hour or so. This would have been very, very stimulating for her today and would have tired her out quite a lot. Um, so it's important to make sure she is able to have a nice sleep. So, you know, you look like you want to fall asleep now, don't you, darling? You're tired, Poppy. You know, darling, you're tired. Hello, good girl. Hello. Hello. Well done, crew. Um. So it has been about a week, yes, a week exactly now, um, since I let um, Buttons go down on the floor for her walks um, when she was cleared from the vet, um, that she was safe to go down after her jabs. And um, I just thought I'd give you a little progress report. I'm just looking behind me to make sure I've got the dogs with me. Um, I'm out today with Ruby and Buttons, and then I'm also out with two dogs that I walk regularly as well, um, and uh, who love Buttons to pieces, so I thought it was quite a nice um, walk for her to go on. Again, she's, what's she now? She's 13 weeks now. So she's going down on the floor for about 15 to 20 minutes maximum um, on her walks and then she's carried for the rest of the way. Or I'll split it and she'll do 10 minutes and then carry for a little bit and then another 10 minutes or five to 10 minutes after, depending on how she's feeling. So she is down on the floor at the moment by my side. Um, I'll see if I can show you where she is. There she is. Hey Buttons. And you'll see she's got a long line on her. Um, she's been wearing that long line. Hey, Ruby. Um, she's been wearing that long line now for a week. Um, and I'm at the stage now, over the last couple of days, where I've just been dropping it on the floor and letting it trail behind her, um, just to see if she continues to stay with me. And I'm practicing my recalls with her every day. Touch wood. So far, she seems to be a really good girl um, and follows me nicely and comes back when she's called. Um, I will probably take the long line off this weekend, maybe. It's Thursday today, um, so I'll probably take the long line off of her at the weekend um, and let her go completely free and see how she goes. Um, still continuing to practice my, um, my recall training with her. So yeah, that's our progress report. One week 
after she um, has been going down on the floor on her dog walks. Doing really well so far, so fingers crossed. I will continue training the, the recall with her. And it's just um, dog's name followed by recall command. So buttons, cam, and then I click my clicker. So I've got my clicker here. So I click my clicker and then she gets her treat. So that's how we're doing our recall training. I'm putting in a verbal cue, um, a hand signal as well. Um, so it's buttons come with a hand signal. Um, I can't show you because I'm holding my phone at the moment, but I'll try and do a video on recall training so that you can see. Um, and then she's getting her treat and a nice cuddle. And I'm making sure I touch her harness and, and around her neck every time I recall her as well. Um, so that she gets used to being held um, when she's called. So hopefully at the end of the walks, I can get her back on her lead. So all going well so far. And um, I'll uh, keep you updated. There you go, she's still there with Ruby. There we go, good dogs. I'll kind of keep you updated on her progress, but so far, fingers crossed, so far so good. Right, bye. Hi again. So I'm on the same walk um, with little buttons. Where is she? Down there. And as you can see, her long line has come off. Um, I was finding that she was going quite slowly. Um, and I think it was because the long line, being a really horrible wet day today, um, her long line was getting quite heavy um, with water and mud. So um, I think it was dragging behind her a little bit. So I've taken her long line off um, and allowed her to just be completely off the lead a little bit earlier than I had intended. Um, but so far, if you can see, where has she gone? Where are you? There she is. So far, she seems to be staying by my side. She's seen some horse poo and gone to eat it and I've managed to recall her away from it twice. So I'm really pleased with her. She's done really, really well. Um, so we've only got a few minutes left of our walk. Um, we've stopped and, and she's had a little bit of a rest. Um, and we're just gonna finish up and get the doggies back in the car. But so far, touch wood, she's been a really good puppy. Um, so she's been able to stay off the lead. If I find um, during my walks with her that she's starting to lose concentration um, and starting to ignore me, then she will go straight back on her long line again. Um, and it just means I need to do even more recall training with her. But all the time she's coming back when she's called um, and she's nice and confident with any of the other dogs that she meets, then I'm happy for her to stay off the lead. Um, we've just bumped into actually one of my clients um, who's uh, currently attending puppy classes with her little border collie puppy. Um, and they had a little sniff of each other and uh, her puppy had a play with one of the other dogs and Buttons actually stayed, uh, stood by my side the whole time, which was quite nice. Um, so she did really, really well. So I'm very pleased with her. And uh, her, while I'm t walking and talking, there she is. Good girl, Buttons. Hello. Good girl, come on then. Yeah, really pleased with her. So uh, I'll uh, continue to let you know how we progress. Good girl. video if you'd like this one please press the like button and subscribe for more videos of buttons the rescue puppy